had a friend of mine shout me today. Um, this is real. It's become one of my really close friends, um, Matt, Matt Stackhouse, Stacky. You know, and it was just good to hear his voice. It's, it's, it's good to hear his voice. He's he's one of those people that um, when I am um, when I need somewhere to safely be vulnerable. He is that safe, vulnerable place. Um, he is. Um, I think we're, we're kind of that way for each other. But I know for me, he has been my safe, vulnerable space. And it's, and it's really important, just as a man, that you have that kind of space. And, and you have um, that male that can, can, can do that for you, that can be that in, in your life and in your journey. You know, and he was saying to me, you know, you've really been through it lately over the past two months on so many different levels. Um, and asked me how I was doing and how I was getting through it. And just talking about the goodness of God, um, just speaking, it of, speaking that goodness over my life and just reflecting. And it really just actually got me to thinking, how have I been actually doing it? And I realized that my, my, my places of safety, my places of support have been just consistently placed all around me and, and just consistently just journeyed alongside me. I can't, I can't explain it any other way than that. Um, I'm just conscious that I just don't walk alone. I don't, I don't, I don't walk alone. As much as sometimes those who are committed to the idea of ministry and the idea of other-centered living and the I and, and and the commitment of pouring their life out. So you're more givers than you are receivers. People plug into you more than um, you plug into. But through this period, I realized that I just haven't been, I haven't been walking alone. There are people that I've known once, once I got to England, um, especially when, especially because um, Yvonne wasn't there, Yvonne and Ria weren't there. But when I got to England, you know, um, there were there were just people who have journeyed with me since I was like six and seven years old, and they just stepped into that space, um, that space of knowing me, of of being close to to me my whole life and and they just stepped in um friends uh as far as life is concerned who may not have been journeying with me for that long but have journeyed with me for like the past 20 25 years they just stepped in um i heard from uh uh um a teacher of mine who actually my first high school teacher and he had just he had seen a post um, from students who were in my class at Holland Park and Mr. Wall, Mr. Ian Wall and then he bought my book and then he read my book twice and then he wrote me oh my gosh um, and then he stepped in and I just realized that if if this year and this period has taught me anything, it's that if we look around us, especially those who spend your life serving others, if you just, because sometimes it's easy to feel when you get into that space of needing someone to be in your corner that you, you turn around and you feel that you're in this corner alone but you're just not, you're not. Um, the love that you put out in the world, the support that you put out in the world 
it just it shows back up it, it it shows it shows back up when you least expect it in the least in the places that you least expect it um you know paul said the apostle paul said don't get weary in well doing um, um because in due time it will come back what you sow you will reap um and that's not in that negative sense you know you know, your parents used to say that to me before they beat you. And what you saw, you're reaping. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> but, but, no. but not in that sense. But what you do so, it, it, it does come back. It, it does come back. Um, never allow yourself for one moment to think that the love that you put out in the world, the the care that you put out in the world. And not because you want to receive it back, but if you choose to live your life in that way, that love, it, it, be, it, you know, it will always find that safe place for you to fall. Um, and since I've been coming back here and doing the quarantine, like yesterday, I just, I just, I just, I stayed in my bed. I just stayed in my bed all day. I just like, nah, I, I don't want to get up. I just succumbed to the feeling of everything. <laughs> I just succumbed and in, instead of fighting it, I just succumbed to it and just let it wash over me. Um, and then I woke up today and it, it, it was, it's a beautiful day. It's, it, it's just a beautiful day. And people checked back in, people were checking in, people that I didn't, um, didn't expect to hear from, they checked in. Um, I had somebody send me a message and sent me a message from Canada and he says, you don't even know that you're my mentor. I was talking with my wife and um, we was talking about mentor and she said, and I said to her, Eddie's my mentor. And she said, Eddie who? And he said, Eddie Hippolyte, <laughs> Pastor Eddie Hippolyte. And she started laughing at him saying, does Pastor Eddie Hippolyte know that he's your mentor? Don't you think you should check with him? And he just wrote me this beautiful message beautiful message just to say I want you to know that you've inspired me and and I've read your book and it's and it's spoken to my life and I just need you to know that you're my mentor you know I know you ain't met me but you are my mentor and honestly it just added life it just added life um, um, to my day and life to my moment um, Ria gets me up in the morning um, and I get her up in the morning and she reads the text for today, the day, and we pray. And if one talks to me on, I mean, you know, on, on, on her way down to work, you know, we catch up on her way into work as she's heading down the motorway. I mean, it's, we're not alone. We're not alone. We're not alone. And if you're feeling that way, um, if you are feeling that you are in your own place of isolation, your own place of quarantine, emotional quarantine, social quarantine, spiritual quarantine, if you do not live your life as, as, a, as a... If you do not live your life as an army of one, then the troops are going to turn up. The troops are going to turn up. So, yeah, I, I just wanted to share that. I just wanted to share that. It's hot outside. It's hot. I'm feeling, I put my hand on this window here. And believe me, this window is hot. It must be tinted on the outside. It must be tinted on the other side. Because that heat ain't coming through here. And the air conditioning is kicking in hard. So, yeah, anyway, I digress. Yeah, I wanted to share that. I wanted to share that. I'm gonna give you uh, my time lapse of what it is that I'm looking at, looking out at here on this beautiful day.